for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. What is the overall love energy for the sign of Capricorn? Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that I use for this reading. I have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up, then we'll take a look and see what the challenge is, and then we'll find out what the outcome is going to be. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Two of Swords, and it's with the Hermit. Now the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships are likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you may need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you are not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this will certainly require open communication on your part because nothing changes without effort. Now, it's with the Hermit, which can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card. You may be in the frame of mind that you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying very hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So Capricorn, Two of Swords, clarified by the Hermit for the recent past energy for you and your person. So what I'm getting for a lot of you Capricorns is that you, you probably took some time alone from your person just to clear your head get rid of some baggage and probably to get some inner clarity on what to do about this person, about the connection. Yeah, because maybe when you were with this person, you couldn't really think straight. You couldn't really put things into perspective. So you took some time alone and it looks like what your what your thoughts came up with or what your mind came up with for you to do was to ultimately block and avoid this person yeah because that's what the two of swords does now i don't know if you can see the picture of it but she's got two swords in her hand and sometimes um, different cards of this two of swords it has a blind she, she's wearing a blindfold but I don't see one on with this deck she's just got the two swords so for some of you you made a decision to avoid and block this person that's what you're after you took after you took some time alone and tried to figure out what to do. A lot of you came up with this reasoning. You, they need to be avoided. But for some of you, you might have chosen to avoid the warning signs for some of you because that's what the Two of Swords can be about also. Avoiding warning signs, that's what some of you had done with this person, but it looks like for most of you, 
you're deciding to just avoid this person for some reason. Yeah. Avoid and you're going to block them. But let's move on over and let's see what we got coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the star card. And it's paired with the devil. So, the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have in a while, more confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional or financial, they'll be met. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This is also a spiritual card. So you could find yourself feeling, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. So let's pair with the devil. Well, with the devil card, you have to know that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. Either way it goes, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. So, you could have a feeling that you're not in control of your life. And sometimes this happens as a result of our own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Those little bitty small baby steps, they're important too. So Capricorn coming up for you and your person. Like I said, we got the star card and it's clarified by the devil. So like I said, you choose to avoid and block this person. And it looks like they might want to let you know a few things. They've got something to say. Um, they might want to confess. Their problems. And it's not like you don't already know. That they've got addictions. Possibly. They have some toxic energy. Or they're a very toxic person. Um, addictions could be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. So this person might want to lay it all on the table and just... Because they see that you're, you're blocking them. They could be sending you some type of message. They want to let you know that what you have done for them when you two were together or before you decided to block them. They want to know that you meant a lot to them. Yeah, they want to let you know that you made them very rejuvenated. You brought a lot of hope and faith to their life. That's what the star does. Um, yeah, you gave them renewal. You gave them hope. A lot of inner, inner clarity on things that they didn't have focus on or they couldn't put into focus when they were with you. It felt like a lot of times a miracle and it brought them a lot of faith. Yeah, with you they felt like they were being in the spotlight. That's what the star card does. Well, that's what the star card, is, star card is about. Yeah, you gave this person a lot of hope. 
So they might be trying to relay some type of message to you and just put things on the table. They know they've got issues and they know that that's why you're you're choosing to not answer their calls or call or um, get back to them. They know that's why you're blocking them. You don't message. You don't give them um, messages on Facebook like you used to. You don't reply. You don't respond. They know it, so they might be trying to reach out to you some kind of way. Yeah, because they want to put it all on the table. They know they got issues, but they also want to know what. They also want you to know how much you mean to them and how much you've done for them. Yeah, you gave this person a lot of hope. They've got addictions though. They've got they're very toxic. And they they know all of this. And they know that's why you're blocking them. But they want you to know that you did something special for them. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for some of you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Moon card. And it's with the Four of Cups. Now, the Moon card, you could feel psychic, intuitive, more than usual. So, it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. So you might, well, if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it could unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So try to stay patient. Now, the Moon card is with this Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, it's actually a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember, to pay attention to what is now, to count your many blessings that we each currently experience, and not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. Yeah, so be sure you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life actually has to do with where we put our focus. So you got to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So the challenge, Capricorn, the moon, clarified by four of cups. So, yeah, no matter what this person tries to relay to you, um, you're feeling that they're a bunch of lies. Yeah, you're not... You don't believe anything they're saying. So there must have been a lot of other things going on. Yeah, and that could be possible because when you're dealing with someone with addictions or toxic energy, they bring a whole lot of drama to the table. So, a whole lot of drama. Yep. If, there, if this person was a Alcoholic, some people say when alcoholics get drunk, just crazy drunk, they just start seeing and doing anything. So, you've probably been through a lot with this person. So, no matter how they try to reach out to you after they see that you've distanced yourself and you're blocking them and avoiding them. Yeah, no matter what they tell you, you f you're going to feel like, oh, they're all lies. It's all lies. You don't believe anything this person has to say to you. 
So that's a large part of the reason why he feel it's important to just block him. Yeah, with all this, um, with this devil energy, it brings a lot of other, a lot of other mess that this person has put into your life. So no matter what they say, no matter how many times they tell you that you've done a lot for them and you've rejuvenated them, you've brought them hope and faith that they never thought they had, you don't believe any of it. None of it. So, I don't know if this person is sending you letters in the mail, but whatever communication comes to you, you don't believe any of it. The moon card here, yeah. You think they're all, it's all a bunch of hogwash. Now, because it's with this Four of Cups, your person is in deep regret deep regret they're feeling devalued and unloved by you yeah because you won't talk you cut them off you think they're they're a big old fat liar yeah big old fat liar with addictions with toxic toxicity with a lot of devil energy so they might this person might have took you through the ringer. Yeah. So they're not feeling really well that you've that you don't reach back out. Yeah. So I was gonna just describe this I was gonna have you look at the picture of the four of cups. It pretty much says it all how they feel. Um, Four of Cups is the card that's below the word challenge. He's, this man is sitting at the, and it looks like he could be at a park. And he is stuck in his head with a lot of regret and just wishing things were different. And actually his hand has a lot of blood on it. I guess he cut his hand by mistake. But he's in so much regret and and just wishful thinking that he cannot even get up to take care of himself. So he's just just stuck on wishful thinking and um, just yeah, he's feeling devalued and un and unloved by you. So it's not, it's not a happy indicator of how this person is feeling. But um, anyway, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Queen of Swords. And it's with temperance. Now, the Queen of Swords can point to a woman in your life. Now, this woman is not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes. But it could go either way. Now, if this is not a person, it can point to the need for you to be forceful, honest in some situation, just to get your needs met. So you might need to put your foot down. Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want, what it is that you need. Now you just have to go after it. Queen of Swords has a very forceful energy. And some people find her abrasive. Now, it's with temperance. So, with temperance, all your relationships, they're probably going quite well. You may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships with any goals and aspirations that you have. Yeah, so look at anything you feel guilty about, any past mistakes that you've made, and forgive yourself, because that's the only way you can truly make progress with life, with yourself, and with um, future relationships. So, or with, with, with relationships also. 
So basically the outcome, Queen of Swords, clarified by Temperance. Well, yeah, you definitely, you, you're going to put your foot down. You're telling yourself, if this person comes anywhere near you, you're going to cut them out. Or you're just going to cut them. Very forceful energy here, this Queen of Swords. Yeah, you don't want any more drama. No more for you. You've already been through enough with this person. Yeah, you're saying they can stay on the grass. Just go live at the park. You don't care. Yeah, you're looking to bring balance into your life. You want peace of mind. No more drama. Yeah. You're letting go of any thing that can bring you down, any mistakes that you've made with this person or being with this person. You're freeing yourself from all the mistakes you've made so that you could make progress towards the future and bring balance back into your life. Yeah, maybe you maybe you had a great balance, a balanced life before you met this person. So he's, he's telling yourself you're going to cut this person out completely. Yeah, and if they come near you, you might pull out your sword. So the Queen of Swords doesn't play. Yeah, she's one that's not to be trifled with. You don't want to hear anything they have to say. Because you feel they're a bunch of lies anyway. So that is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way, you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extent of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are safe and doing well and staying strong and healthy during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourselves. Yep. Well, take good care. Please come back and check out the next Check out my next Capricorn reading, which will be in about another four or five days. And just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind with these readings, if you're not in a love, or if you're not in a relationship, or if you're not involved with anyone romantically, the, the other person could be a friend, could be a family member. Or it could be a situation. Yeah, you have to take the readings for however it resonate because they're general readings, they're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching and thanks for all my new subscribers. Thanks for all of my old subscribers. It really helps my channel to grow. So thank you so much. So I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care day and take care day and take care day